Uh, let's talk about a war room. Do you have a war room? What is a war room? A war room is a prayer room. Somewhere you go alone, like Jesus talks about. A closet alone where you pray to the Father. You see, this spiritual warfare that we're up against, it is not gonna be won with your fist. It is gonna be won on your knees in prayer. You know, Jesus was talking about some demons can't get rid of but without much fasting and prayer. Praying is the most important thing. Think about this. When Jesus got baptized in water, okay, he comes up, he receives the Holy Spirit. That's when his ministry started. Immediately when he goes in the desert, he begins to get tried and tested. By who? The devil. And what did he say to him over and over every time he tried to give him the world or try to make him turn rocks in the bread he said it is written and he was talking about the word of God the sword the weapon so when you take that time every single morning to pray I just want to encourage you watching anybody right now if you don't have a war room if you don't have a prayer room get one immediately that should be the number one room in your house the root word of disciple is discipline. So you gotta have you gotta be disciplined, you gotta be perseverance. You gotta go in that room when you feel God, and you gotta go in that room the days you don't feel God. And you gotta pray. Intercede. Listen, the Bible says we're all kings and priests. Kings know how to decree and declare as you're in that war room, man. Pray. I do it all the time. I, I decree and declare for my AC company. Father God, I call out all the profitable work. I say profitable from the north, the south, the east, and the west, the town and AC technicians employees, the parts, the equipment, the material, the trucks, the resources, and the favor of God and man. In the name of Jesus. And sometimes I'm a priest and I'm just interceding, interceding for other people, praying for other people, trying to help other people. Holy Spirit will give me people you know, to think about and I'll just begin to pray for them. And if I don't know what to pray for, I pray in the Holy Ghost and the Spirit. Because the Holy Spirit knows exactly what to pray for. But let me tell you something right now. I don't leave that room. That's, that, that's the first place I go. And when you go into prayer first with God before anything, I promise you, the rest of your day will be supernaturally changed. 100%. You understand what I'm saying? Literally, you'll get more time in your day just from doing that from praying. It's amazing. It's powerful. And you'll see God move for you and pray in supplication. Don't just pray and stop. Pray, keep praying, keep praying. Think about this. If I took a hammer and I started to hit this brick wall, nothing's really going to happen. But if I take that hammer and keep hitting that same spot on that brick wall for about a month straight, two months straight, years straight, let me tell you something, you'll bust through it. So I want to encourage you to get your war room, get your prayer room. I'm going to send you guys some videos and pictures of mine. Click, subscribe, like, comment. I love you guys. Get a prayer room. Get a war room. That's how you beat the devil on your knees. Have a good day.